A failure by government to assess the ailing South African airways would result in catastrophic damages to the country's economy. This is according to Deputy President Sarah Mamposa, who was answering questions at the National Council of Provinces today. MPs also quizzed Ramaphosa about the township economy and what he's done to rein in the truancy of Social Development Minister Batabi Letlamin. In September, the government announced a 3 billion rand bailout to SAA. Then, last week, Finance Minister Malus Gigaba announced in his midterm budget that the government is selling several billion rands worth of its stake in Telcom to fund the ailing airlines' operations. MPs, in particular those representing opposition parties, called on the Deputy President to justify these latest bailouts of the airline. If government were to fold its arms and allow SAA to fail, it would be a real catastrophe, not only for SAA but for our economy as well. MPs also asked Ramaphosa how Batabile Lamini, the Minister for Social Development, has been allowed to avoid appearing before Parliament's committees. A question the Deputy President threw back to MPs. Parliament has its responsibility to make sure that we, members of the executive, are held accountable for the tasks that we were given by the nation, by the people of our country. And if we don't exercise those tasks, Parliament, in terms of its rules, in terms of its constitution, does have the right to make us accountable. MPs also wanted to know whether the government was looking at growth strategies in townships to counter increased unemployment. And the townships and the rural areas should be seen as new economic frontiers by us as South Africans, by the government itself, that's where we should be flocking to, to empower our economy, but also to empower our people who were previously restricted and prevented from operating in other more established areas. Finally, Ramaphosa deplored the hoisting of the old South African flag at the hashtag Black Monday March this week. Lukanu Khalada, SABC News, Parliament.